Hello, I am Sujoy and this is my another video on operations research. I have already uploaded 53 plus videos on operations research covering transportation problem, assignment problem, queuing theory, game theory, linear programming problems or LPPs, network analysis or project management covering almost all the topics in them. So if you want to watch any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So check them out. So in this video, I am telling you about how to solve a 5 plus 5 assignment problem by the Hungarian algorithm. So this is the part 2 of the assignment problem video. In part 1, I told you how to do row operation, how to do column operation and how to find out the modification or the modified matrix. And also if you want to watch the previous video, link to that is given in the video description below. So definitely watch the first part of this video to understand the concept well. So let's start the video now. So we start from step 6. In step 5.1, we generated a new matrix after the modification. So here is the brief of step 4.4 and 5. Scan each row and each column and write next to it the number of zeros present in that row and that column. Next, draw horizontal and vertical lines but not diagonal lines to cover maximum number of zeros with minimum number of lines. So here we will do the operation on this matrix. So next to each row we will write the number of zeros present in that row. So here in row 1 we have 1 0 so we have written 1 and next to the row 1. Similarly do the operation on each row and for the columns also we will write the number of zeros present in that column next to it. So in column A we have 1 0 so we have written 1 next to column A and after that find out the row or the column which has maximum number of zeros and draw our first line through that and next find out the next biggest number of zeros and then draw our next line through that column or that row which has next biggest number of zero. So here as you can see in row 3 and column 2 we have maximum number of zeros that is 3 zeros. So we can draw our L1 either through the row 3 or through the column B. So I will draw my L1 through the row 1 sorry row 3. So this will be my L1. So 3 zeros are covered in row 3. Next again we have 3 zeros in column B. So to cover them we will draw our L2 over column B. Next we have 1 0 here and 1 0 here. So to cover this 0 I will draw my L3 over the row 2 and L4 over the column E. And now again we will check whether the number of lines is equals to order of matrix. Order means the number of rows or the number of columns present in the matrix. So here the number of lines are 4, L1, L2, L3 and L4. But the order or number of rows is 5. So which is not equal. Again we have to perform the optimization and the drawing lines. So for optimization we will do the step 5.1 that is Find out the smallest element among all the uncovered elements. Elements which are not covered with lines. So here these are the uncovered elements through which any line has not gone. And among the uncovered elements the smallest element is 3. So we have 1, 3 at this position, 1 at this position, 1 at this position and another at this position. So we can take any value. The value does matter, not the location where the value is located. In step 1, subtract that smallest element from all the uncovered elements. So we will do the subtraction operation. So this 3 minus 3 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. 9 minus 3 is 6. And do this operation to all the uncovered elements. In step 2, Add that the smallest element with the intersection elements. Intersection elements are those elements through which two lines are intersected. 
So here the intersection elements are 14, 4, 0 and 1. So 14 plus 3 is 17 written here. 1 plus 3 is 4 written here. 4 plus 3 is 7 written here. And 0 plus 3 is 3 written here. So these are our newly generated matrix. Again, we'll write the number of zeros next to each row and each column. So in row 1, the number of zeros are 3. So we have written 3 next to the row 1. Similarly, let's say for column C, we have 3 zeros. So we have written 3 next to the column C. And do this operation to each row and each column. So since column A, column B and column C and row 1 and row 5 has maximum number of zeros that is 3 zeros, we can draw our L1 through any of the rows A1, A5 or column A, A B or C. So let's say I will draw my L1 over the row 1 covering 3 zeros. Next biggest number of zeros is 3 which is there in the row 5. So this will be my L2. So next biggest number of zeros is 2. So we have two zeros in row 3. So I will draw my L3 over the row 3. Next we have two zeros in row 4 or column C. So I will draw my L4 over the column C. We can draw the L4 over the row 4 also that is your choice. Next my L5 will be over the B covering the last zero. So after doing so you will get this matrix. And finally the number of lines is equal to the order of matrix. Number of lines are 5, L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5 and the order or the number of rows is equal to 5. So both are equal. So our optimal solution is obtained. We will now move to step 7. When the number of lines is equal to the order of matrix, the optimal solution is obtained. We will now do the assignments. For assignments, we have to follow some steps. Step 1. Find the row or the column which has exactly one zero. Cover that zero only with a box that is assign it. So I have written this matrix here. So here you can see in row 2 we have exactly one zero. So we will cover the zero with a box that is we will assign the machine to to the person C. That is the meaning of the assignment. Next step 2. Cross out all zeros across that row or that column and continue the process. So since this machine 2 is already assigned to person C, so we will cross out all the zeros in column C and row 2. So in row 2 we don't have any zeros here. So we don't have to cross anything. But in column C we have one zero above this assignment and one zero below this assignment. So we will cross all the zeros. So the continue the process of assigning and crossing. So after crossing this zero and this zero in row 4 we have exactly one zero now. Since this zero is crossed out. So we will do our next assignment here. That is we will cover that zero with a box. And next to that we will write the number 2. 2 means our second assignment. That is optional. That means the machine 4 is assigned to person B. And next we will cross all the zeros above the assignment that is this zero here and this zero here in column B. And in row 4 we have another zero. We will cross that out also. So after crossing this zero and this zero we have only one zero left in row 1. So we will cover that zero. That will be our third assignment. That means we have assigned the machine 1 to person A. And also we will cross these two zeros in column A. So after crossing this zero, we have exactly one zero in 
row 3. So we'll cover that out. This will be our fourth assignment. That means we have assigned the machine 3 to person D. And as you can see, we don't have any zeros to cross out in row 3 or column D. And finally, we have one zero left in row 5. That will be our fifth assignment. That means we have assigned the machine 5 to person E. So that is the gist of the rule number 2. Rule number 3. If any row or any column has a tie, then assign arbitrarily. Tie means if we have two zeros instead of one zero after doing some assignments in a row or in a column, then we can assign arbitrarily. That means we can assign on any of the zeros or more than one zeros if we have. In my next video, I will tell you how to break a tie. Rule 4. Find the optimal assignment cost with respect to the original matrix. So these are our optimal assignments. We have assigned machine 1 to person A, machine 2 to person C, machine 3 to person D, machine 4 to person B, or machine 5 to person E. Next, we will find out the optimal assignment cost with respect to our original matrix. So once again, I have written the optimal assignments here. Next, find out the optimal assignment cost. So in original matrix, in 1A position, we have 12. In 2C position, we have 8. In 3D position, we have 14. In 4B position, we have 11. And in 5E position, we have again 11. So we'll add all those values. 12 plus 8 plus 14 plus 11 and 11 and that is equals to 56. This is our optimal assignment cost or the minimum assignment cost. That means if we assign in this order 1A, 2C, 3D, 4B and 5B, our total assignment cost will be the minimum. So that's it. We have successfully obtained the optimal assignments and the optimal assignment cost and we have successfully solved a 5 plus 5 assignment problem by the algorithm which I have explained to you in step 1 to step 7 that is called the Hungarian algorithm. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos in operation research. So don't forget you subscribe to my channel so that when I will upload my next video you will get an email if you subscribe. And if this video has helped you out please like and share the video that will definitely encourage me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.